Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KV5063878 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to run SFC and DISM command. Now for this type in CMD in Windows search box, make our icon command prompt app and then run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy it and then paste it over here, hit the enter key and let the scan complete. This process will take some time and once this is 100% complete, run the second scan. So copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the second scan is complete, try to update your Windows 11. Still not working, start app readiness service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, click on services, find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK and with this selected make a right click and then click on restart and then you can check still not working the next step is to pause and restart the update so you can go to windows update and then you can click on pause over here and once paused this process may take some time and then hit resume updates and then you can check still not working the next step is to start windows update and back background services now for this type in services in windows search box and then find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on OK with this selected make a right click and then click on restart and once this is done try to update your windows 11 still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website write down the name of the update that is kv5063738 so so write down the name of the update over here and then click on search and check what kind of system you have first. So you can go to Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you will see for me it's 64 bit x64 base processor. So for me it's Windows 11 version 24 H2 x64 base system. So this is the right one for me. This is for server. This is for ARM. So for me this is this is the right one. So click on download and then you can click on this kv5063878 and let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer once done this process will take some time and then you can restart your computer and then check now still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update option you can go to windows settings go to windows update over here go to advanced option scroll down Click on recovery option over here and here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now uh, and then click on OK. Automatically restart my PC 15 minutes after installation. So you can just go ahead with the process. Just follow the on-screen instruction and then you can use this option. In my case, it is already installed, so I am not doing it. So you can use this option. If that does not work, uh, the last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you, you scroll down and you will see media creation tool. Click on download now and then you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here and then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next, select ISO file, click on next and then you can save it to desktop, save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time and once done, click on finish. Once you click on finish, you will see the screen. Let it close automatically. Do not close this window manually and then go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, run the setup file, make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow. Click on next, click on accept, 
and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked we will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel